My name is Kafe Anderson. I am an independent country music artist. Come on, a little bit louder. Can we country it up for you now? I'm from Bangs, Texas, but now I live in Los Angeles, California. I am married to the baddest woman on the planet, Chrisilla Anderson. Love that, you know, you're able to find a, a home for your show on Netflix with right. Country Ever After. How did this come right. to fruition? And then when did the decision get made to allow us to see Chrisilla's, you know, health journey on screen? Well, the, we, had a, we had a viral video on Facebook go crazy. It was the ES video. How do you spell Y-E-S? And people can look it up. And I played this joke on Chrisilla. And in the middle of that video, I said, we need our own reality show. Well, Alex Baskin, who created House County, Orange County Housewives and Housewives of Atlanta, called. And I remember meeting with him. And I said, hey, man, I want to make a show that's family friendly. Because our second year of marriage, we decided to fight for each other and not with each other. And if you want to make that kind of show, I'm in. And he said, Mr. Anderson, I want to make a show that my mother would want to watch. Yeah. And I said, you had a good mama? He goes, I have a good mama. I said, good, I, I had a good mama before she went to heaven too soon. I said, so let's make this deal on good mama. And that's how we made the show. And I felt like between, and then the, the genius in Roma Downey, who was untouched by an angel, who made it okay for us to be in it and not of it as believers on television. She was one of the first people to, to pray and talk about God every week and was number one show every week for years. So she floats into the room, you know, and she says, I believe in this and I think I'm gonna help find a home for it. Mm -hmm. Then all of a sudden the monster, the gorilla of Netflix says, we want it. We were, our second day of filming, Priscilla was nauseous, throwing up, dehydrated, cramping. And I said, I threw all the camera crew out. Y'all gotta go. I never wanted anybody to see her like that. I think, I think daddies and husbands have three jobs to preach, protect, and, and provide. And our protection mode went in. Two minutes, the whole camera crew was out. They were so respectful. Um, and she kind of wakes up she goes in between being alert and, and being under. And, and anybody that has a cancer journey, they, they understand what I'm talking about. It's, it's horrible. And she leans on me and she says, they have to see this. Mm. You got to tell the story, babe. You got to let them in. As a husband, I learned how to take care of her by watching my daddy take care of my mama when she was dying of cancer. And I think that if your husband, your wife, your life partner, whoever, whoever you're dealing with, that you're caregiving for, those things are learned. But I learned it by watching Stan. And I had to allow them in our house. Mm -hmm. But I knew they were gonna protect us in Roma and in Alex. So all the things aligned up for my trust to be there. What is What do the conversations look like that you have with yourself, with the Lord, when you're trying to navigate? You know, I know you've gifted me with these skill sets. You know, open those doors, show me the opportunities that are yeah. out there. I think I love when Solomon asked God for wisdom. And I literally asked God for marketing. I asked the Lord to be my agent. I asked the Lord to be my manager. And so we run our business like a small business, but we're doing big things. And I feel like when everybody is going shock, 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 scared, visual trauma, this is a this shocking new video, or pushing the envelope with nasty or, or even creepy stuff, how do you market? when you're family friendly. How do you do that? How do you navigate this? And I felt like there was a bigger financial opportunity if you are family friendly. Let me give you an example. If you're 21 years old, if you're, if you're only marketing to someone above 21, that's one wallet. If you're family friendly, you get Mima, Papa, Grandma, Grandma, Granddaddy, you get your parents, you get the kids. Is the only thing on one kid. You have seven opportunities financially to explode your business when you're family friendly. So I felt like I'm gonna be, and, and, and success looks different. Everybody wants the fancy cars and the big houses and the minions working for them. If I can help Priscilla get the treatment she wants and needs and what she feels gonna heal her body, if I can keep my babies in the school that I feel like is gonna be safe for them and keep our lights on, that's success.